the lady with the golden stuff. Why is that the lady? No, 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 I don't like lady. I'm gonna change that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The girl. Like. There. And now I need to delete that because, of course, it glitched. <laughs> Vivi Aspie Chrysos is an orphan and is on a field trip and gets pushed off a cliff. Yes. <laughs> Vivi gets saved by a ghost named Salva Benny Mortis. Yes, her name means save kind dead. <laughs> And yes, her name means live something, something. I don't remember what those mean. Oh, wait, Chrysos means gold. I remember that part. So, so yes, her, her name means live something gold. <laughs> ghost takes her to Homeland of Ghosts. She gets a magical thing put in glasses. She wears glasses. Um, that makes her see ghosts, even when ghosts are trying to be invisible. She gets told about shades, which are ghosts gone bad. Are trying to take over the whole the human world and how they've been trying to for decades and and that really bad people like hitler were humans being possessed by shades she's given a magical thrumming golden sky that is glowing ghostly blue she's training with salva when she also yes the golden sky part is why it's the girl with the golden sky um she's training with salva when a shade breaks in she has a first she has her first fight with the shade and Salva says that these are ready. Fast forward a lot of fights and things that aren't inter that interesting and that I can't think of right now. <gasps> Vivi meets ruler of shades named Noxu Umber o Aki. Aki, yes, Aki. Salva takes out silver sword and beard with a pure white color and says, Hello, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I made them sisters for some reason. Vivi fights Noxu with a scythe and wins with Salva's help. They purify Noxu, like like they take the bad out of her, with the scythe, the sword, and some bronze, some bronze throwing stars that glow green that Salva had for some reason. <laughs> Salva reveals herself to be the queen of ghosts in disguise. <laughs> Nox and Salva have a tearful reunion. They adopt Vivi since she's an orphan. If you remember that. Um, Noxu and Salva rule in harmony with Vivi as their princess. Noxu starts carrying around bronze throwing stars because she feels something bad will happen and she's known for her intuition of the future, so they believe her and carry around their weapons too. New rule of shades. It invades the world of spirits, and I'll think of a new name for the shade for later. Um, and I leave everyone on a cliffhanger while I write a book, too. That's pretty cool. That seems like a really good story. I, I love all the names, a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. I, I think you did especially, I mean, you didn't really demarcate acts for us, but it's pretty clear where all those things happen. And I think act two especially is really wild. Um, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Novels have acts? I thought that was only plays. Yeah, well, the, the act is just a way to conceive of how a story is structured. Yeah, you don't actually put act one or act two into the novel when you're writing it, but Aristotle understood all stories as having acts, which is just so, another way of saying a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning, act one, the middle, act two, the end, act three. Yeah, yeah, it was really great. Was I could think of no better way to make the reader get hooked immediately other than how uh, than having Vivi get pushed off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. I mean, it's it's really intense right from the very beginning. Uh, thanks a lot, Nova, for sharing. That was that was wonderful. Thanks. All right, let's hear from Emma. Since we are at time, if you need to leave, you're you're of course uh, free to do so. Um, the rest of us will stay and listen to Emma and to uh, Lena and Gwyn. Go ahead, Emma. <laughs> 